Hi, I'm Sujata Biswas. I'm the co-founder of Suta, and welcome to my house. When I had to think about this house, how am I going to make it? There were a couple of elements that I wanted to be there. First, it had to look traditional because I love traditional elements. I wanted it to also have contemporary elements and a lot of colors, bit here, bit there. And I have a huge family. I have two kids around me. I have a dog. So I wanted the space to be um, open, clutter-free and also very minimal. And that's how I am. And hence the space is kind of reflection of how I think and how I behave in my daily life. This area, if you see, is opened up. We have kept arches over here, a um, couple of arches here and there. And also, I wanted this space to look like a separate area, whereas not putting a lot of boundaries. So this is like an area, like a carpeted tile over here. And also keeping the area a little, um, a place where all of us can sit and enjoy television or eating together. So I have this low seating window side place and since you know my love for traditional things, I got these beautiful columns um, and I feel it just adds that vintage charm to this place. Um, also I've kept you know the, uh, the seating area, the color and finish very raw uh, because that's how I like it, you know, um, things to be raw, not too finished and also um, minimal. Since I'm an entrepreneur, I also wanted to work with uh, a lot of small brands. So I've worked with a lot of Indian small brands. For example, if you see this light, uh, it's from a brand called Uja. And uh, this here, this light is also funny because the, the contractor made it himself. So he used the discarded material that's available and he made this beautiful light. Um, the clay men that you see, I always wanted to work with clay men, that's the brand I really love and adore. So each of the elements, if you see, I have tried to work with different brands and get the essence of the brand and that in my home, even if it looks like an amalgamation of a lot of different things, but I wanted them to be here. And the color pattern that I have decided would be very, very light. So if you see this light sage green, there is a lot of terracotta, and the basic, uh, you know, the theme that's everywhere you'll see is beige and grey um, and a lot of greenery. I've tried to put a lot of greens in the house as well. I have um, tried to keep a lot of elements that are very raw and artisanal. For example, this cushion you see, it's, it's hand embroidered and it's from Suta. Um, we have a lot of use of cane over here in the corners, um, a lot of greenery by adding a couple of plants here and there. Um, and if you see this area, this is one part of the house that a lot of people don't understand. They come and say, what is this? You know, you've planned them and picked them from somewhere. No, these are all like childhood collectibles and from different parts of um, the world or India. There are some things which have been picked up from roadside or somebody has gifted me something special, which I probably remember because it's like 20, 25 years old. And that's this corner, uh, which is absolutely might not make sense to a lot of people. The only obstruction in the house or any partition that I have made is this. Um, I also wanted it to look very light um, and not uh, like an intrusion in the house. So this is the only piece that is separating this, this entire area. Because the dining table is here, I wanted that people sitting here can also chat with people sitting over there. Um, and this, this is also a piece which I really love. It's a raw live uh, wood. Uh, and it's just like just a raw thing and I didn't want too much finish to it you can see the cracks also here and even the chairs to be minimal and with cane accent um, over here I have tried to keep an arch because I wanted a lot of arches in my house and here what I have done is um, wanted this to also look like a part of this um, the entire tropical uh, feel to it uh, the color also have kept it as beige and not too green um, and this is one area where we literally all sit together, laugh in the evening, chat together and uh, after that we watch TV. Now I'm taking you to my kitchen where I don't really spend a lot of time but I'm usually on this side of the counter and we are chatting over the counter because maybe the food is served here, 
we chat, discuss with mom what's the what's the item tomorrow. Um, this area, I wanted it to be open because I knew we talk a lot about food and we always have conversations about food and hence this is an open kitchen. Um, we have counters over here, we have shutters to cover a lot of things that we don't want to show and there's a small garden area here um, which gives a little open vibe to this place. Um, I like the thing that the tiles are matching the floor and the wall and it is also sage green and I told you in this house there is just addition of a little sage green terracotta in beige. Um, the art forms that I have picked for this house um, that also has um, little quirks to it um, because I wanted them to them to show India so there's a lot of Indianness to the art forms and also they're very very quirky and you'll see a lot of saris in the in the photo um, this corner I really like because of the green here um, and that it's like a mix of a lot of things and this is like a messy corner but I feel I I love this corner a lot now I'll take you to my space um, that's my bedroom uh, it has my beautiful bathroom which I spend a lot of time in and also a space which is literally just mine that's my walk-in wardrobe come on in this area literally was not there in the plan <laughs> this was supposed to be a bedroom which I just uh, picked like a small corner I said just give me this small area where I'll keep all my uh, belongings special things over here so yeah this is the area which I spend a lot of time in um, there is a door which just shuts like this and this room is fully blue um, and you have to see the beautiful wallpaper that I have on the cupboards um, I feel that just adds a lot of life to this area and even if it's a small corner like an L-shaped walk-in wardrobe um, it just um, it's like a space which is super private this is my bedroom which has a lovely arch over here and I love the wooden accent which goes all around the bed um, I wanted this room to be very uncluttered and um, just two side tables is what I've kept and I love this bed which I've selected uh, because of this small space I couldn't have done like a four poster but it still is like somewhat close to it um, here if you see the wallpaper is very um, light pastel colors but there is a lot happening on the wallpaper here the wall paintings that you see they are all done or painted this is this one's painted by me and my sister um, the other two is painted by my cousin so it's all mixture of a lot of um, uh, you know paint happening painting happening by the family I wanted the bathroom to look like C and agree in that too um, and I wanted it to have three separate areas one is the bathtub one is the bathing area over there and this area which is another cane light over here and has a very asymmetric pentagon shape mirror um, which I really like in this corner um, you see a lot of uh, stained wood highlights this one is a is a workroom where I also do yoga and uh, it has a it has a a uh, piece of furniture that is uh, 45 years old it's uh, from uh, my husband's great grandfather so <laughs> he's passed it on and um, taking you to the kids room now this one is my kids room and he loves the bunk bed so we had to give him one um, and this is a study area his cupboard and this piece he really wanted to have um, a lot of spacecraft uh, space suits and things written about it so he started reading so he's literally having fun over this on this wall I hope you enjoyed watching the home tour and if you like such videos you must subscribe to LBB's homely newsletter and have fun guys bye